it. Never catch me choking, so I love being full of beat. The young brother Jay. But you look like you look like you like same age. I should put the picture right there. <laughs> a little more angry. Man, a little more angry. But um Yeah, man. That was a deep time, man. I, we had just lost Shaft. I had to push through that project, man. It was it was a deep time, man. You know, I'm glad to still be here. Great is merciful, bro. This is this is episode eight of Constant Elevation, yeah, brother Jay, and um, we're discussing the evolution of media and hip hop. Um, so, uh, what else you got on that on that uh, on that front? All right, so um, I'm done with the misuse. I wanted to get into hip hop versus politics, the way that hip hop is used to promote politics and the way that media kind of waves a strange flag with that. All right. So um, one of the things that I wanted to, to note was like um, how popular artists um, have to weigh who we deal with. One of the things that I, I was trying to promote back in the days was a neutral Congress in hip hop that wasn't Democrat or Republican, but just a platform that both of the entities can speak to us, like how they do the debates. You have to speak to the hip hop community as one vote, all right? So this is where something like how Ice Cube was trying to do would work. Because now in the off side of election, you're now gathering up, say Ice Cube has two or three million followers, whatever case may be, you're now bringing them all in and saying, yo, we want to be directly addressed by whoever's trying to run to state the real issues of what's going on. And that's not now, that goes beyond the hip hop um, conversation. Now you're now when the media chimes in the cameras and all of that and says, well, what's Ice Cube doing talking to a million people about what? And seeing the interaction from the people saying, well, this is what we need. And this is what we need. And this is what we have to dialogue. Now, when that starts to happen in different pockets, now the media is saying, okay, there's a neutral party that doesn't swing either way. Instead of you hiring my favorite artists to go and sing for one of the big politicians or something like that, and you feel like, wow, old girl likes such and such. So when I spoke about Mary J. Blige on my page, people attacked me. And I wasn't dissing her. I said, yo, I said, why would our sister be singing for someone who called our people a super predator? The first thing in the conversation should have been, let me apologize to black people if I want their vote. And you're singing to me today to say, yo, we support you. When you sing for someone and hold their hand, you're saying that I support you. I fuck with you. I'm going to put my, my ballot in your box. All right? So the first thing that should have came out of that conversation was, I'm sorry for calling your people a super predator. Otherwise, you don't get to fuck with our hero, Mary J, because if she's popular in our world as an icon, when you can go back and say, hey, I was a little kid, breakdancing to her shit or spinning her shit on the turntable, you have a long, a, a, a longevity of love for, um, for Mary J. So that's kind of like your icon. Why would you want your icon to go fuck with somebody who say your people are just savages and super predators and need to be exterminated? Yo, so real quick, I, like, I, I barely, I keep a very loose area of politics because it's such bullshit to me, the whole game. So I don't, I'm not, too, was this, you talk, did she, this, this is Biden? She's, she's saying for Biden or something? Yeah, it was, this was um, when Hillary Clinton was running for president. Clinton, okay. Yeah. I mean, I, All I right. mean, Cause I don't fuck with her either, so I, you know, so I just wanted. To, so she, oh, she sang for Hillary Clinton, and I, yeah, she 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 sang a Bruce Springsteen song for Hillary Clinton, and I'm like, fuck the Bruce Springsteen shit and everything. The first part of the conversation should have been, yo, can you tell my people how you really feel as a human being? Not like you need my vote, but just to apologize on a level to say. Your people are not super predators because when you are a high official and you say super predator, everyone underneath you security-wise has to be on alert. And now you're beating people's asses according to, you know, a, 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 a order that's sent. 
So I'm saying, I said, look, look, sis, you don't, you know, I, I said in my post, you know, um, you know, fuck Bruce Springsteen and so on. You are our shit, not a fan base. Now look how the media said it. Mary J, Brother J dissing Mary J Blige for such and such and such. And I'm saying, no, that's not the case. I'm not dissing her. I'm saying don't fuck and sing for this broad until she apologizes for what's happening. So when politics come to hip hop, you have to, you know, and, and we're doing media with hip hop and so on, but this is a real human conversation. If, if you diss my people, I'm not going to go to your house and sing for you. I'm not going to come somewhere and sit there and hold your hand like you're going to change in the moment. You have to start, to say, as a politician, you got to say, well, look, let me set this record straight before you start singing or anything. So when I mentioned it on my page, now they copying it and, and saying, and then the media goes, yo, Brother Jay, this is Mary J. Flies, this is the such and such and such. And the, and, the, and, the, and the shit that I included in the post was about the chicken fingers because a priestess had called me and said, why is Mary J. promoting chicken fingers? She was doing something for church's chicken. She said that the chicken was a major cause of fib fibroids, fibroids in women, the chemicals and just the, the fact of the, the animals. She was saying this. She said, why is this lady doing this? So this is twice that I'm hearing the lady's name. So I just said, yo, let me go and make a mention because our sister's on blast. And I got blasted because social media and whatever media <laughs> was lurking around waiting for whatever the fuck took this in the situation. All right? So that was one level of politics fucking with hip hop where it should have been screened better because we are the power. Okay? If Kanye West, you see how close he would have got to being a president, though, he would have got a couple hundred thousand fucking votes for presidential shit because his following is so strong. Okay? If all his worldwide fan base was in the U.S., that would have been the problem. They would have had to write him a check to say, yo, man, step out of this for a minute. Because <laughs> you fucking up the whole script. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So we are the power. And I'm just saying on a hip-hop level, not even on a major scale of all human beings outside of a music culture or genre or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a serious thing. When you get ready to shake with these politicians' hands, it can't be like, yo, keep my lights on and, and keep my shit padded for a couple of years and I'll go ahead and represent you. Same thing I said to Killer Mike. I never diss Killer Mike. As soon as I said something, I said, yo, man, Bernie, you, Bernie Sanders, you're around this man all the time. But when George Floyd shit happened, I don't see you standing next to Killer Mike doing whatever it is. And, and, and then Killer Mike comes at me fucked up. And I say, yo, we only see Bernie Sanders when it's time for politics. As much as you stand for people that say, well, he's still with Martin Luther King. And I said, well, I don't know this man outside of that. I don't hear shit from him until he's running for president. And then one of our homies, one of our brothers, if I listen to Killer Mike or not, you still in my blood. You still melanin, dog. That's like watching my cousin come out of the house and get in the car with some flags and the limo and shit. I'm not supposed to be concerned. Like, what are you using my brother's power for? I'm supposed to be concerned. I'm not even a consumer like that. I'm just like, yo, man, why, why you fucking with my brother like that? Why you fucking with his little build up or audience that he's doing with his look, reality shows and shit like that? Why you all up his ass like that? And when this election is done, are you getting behind his bank program and you know, making sure he has a platform or whatever. I don't see you. And if you are there, please let it be known that you're visible so I can lay off it and shut the fuck up on my side. Yeah. All right? I never... I, so now, when I state this, now it's a blasting because you're not reading the post. People don't read. All they see is like some shit like, you dissing me? You, you dissing me because of Bernie Sanders? I'm saying, yo, man, fuck politics. Politics weren't made for us to win. So when you fucking with somebody that plays in that game, Regardless of how they feel or not, they can't change shit. Do you think if that man got in power, he says, yo, now I decree, no black niggas getting their ass whooped in the street. You can't do that shit. So why would you even entertain him like he's an option for us versus whoever? This all devil shit. It's all devil shit. So as soon as I mentioned it, the, the social media and the media, now I'm beefing with Killer Mike and saying, and now... No one's listening to what the positivity, uh, positivity of what I'm saying. They're saying like, oh, Brother Jay, you launching on them because it's pro-black thing or whatever. I'm saying no, as a human being, that's stupid. Why would you fuck with people that trying to get in a system that doesn't fuck with us? 
what are we supporting? If we haven't gathered millions strong and say, yo, man, we standing, we standing strong to a point where you better give us some of them delegate points to make our shit relevant. Okay? Because our shit don't mean shit at the end of the day. Even when you saw the shit with Hillary Clinton, she won all the popular votes, but you lost the fucking shit. Why? Because the dude went up the backside and said, I'm going to get all the delegates, all the farm boys, and all the shit, the original power of goddamn America, and I'm going to get this brought out of my fucking way. Now all the holding hands and all the singing and all the shit goes to waste, and we don't see none of these motherfuckers. But you used us for politics. Okay? So, I, so when you do that, the next artist saying, next year, I'm going to be that dude. I'm going to perform at the presidential dinner. I'm going to perform at the rally and get people hype and all kinds of shit with millions of people are watching for the next president. They start planning like that in their mind. That's why I said this game is so impressionable. It's fucked up. So when you give them the pass and you didn't make sure to apologize, you would have been a hero beyond being Mary J. Blige, beyond being a singer. You would say, our sister check shorty and got that apology where she never would have had a platform to give that shit. You're not going to do that at the congressional shit in front of the white house and say, you know what? You know, niggas, you're not super predators anymore. <laughs> no niggas ought to be whooped. She don't have that fucking power. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the media fans, the bullshit. Yes. Mary J. And, and Hillary singing together at nine. You can check it out. They're fanning, because remember, we create the bullshit. All right? When Killer Mike goes on, yes, Killer Mike and Bernie, power to the people. Here, you're fanning more of the shit. You, 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 there's nothing advertised after that moment. All right? If Bernie built 50 schools with Killer Mike's name on it and said all black kids in this area will be taught, we don't hear shit about it. Okay? So there is a positive move. Tell me. Tell me what happened after the Hillary thing. Is it just a check or was it something to say, yo, I opened up a shelter for battered women. I opened up something, you know, that, and that, that Mary J went through that now I can connect and get with the audience of my shit because most of the women in that kind of mental sphere gravitate toward her shit. Her music is very emotional. So if Hillary said, yo, man, you know what? Thank you for fucking with me. I didn't make it but let me contribute to something that you fuck with. Yo, you know what I fuck with? Battered woman. Well, let me put two or three shelters up. Name, name me a state. Why? Because you got the bread. You got the bread and the power of how to do that. You have to share that. You feel what I'm saying? Of course. That's what we don't stick around for, the follow-up with the politics. We get the politics. We, we get the check. We get to sing in front of the president and, and do all the little things and all this other shit. But then when it's done... It's absolutely nothing on the table, my lord, and I'm tired of us playing ourselves in those arenas, man. No, yeah, that's that's circus shit, man. I mean, that's all. This is call it what it is, man. I, you know, I, I I'll say it, I don't give a fuck, is because people don't care about me like they care about brother Jay. So that's all circus monkey shit, and it's like some step and fetch it. You know what I'm saying? Word. Fucking, that's what that is. On, on any level, you know what I'm saying? White or black, if you fucking, if if you fuck with somebody. That you know that doesn't fuck with you and your people and, and fuck with you, and you go and you go fuck with them and take a check from them, you you yes. a, you a fucking you circus you a circus monkey man. I don't we throwing peanuts at you and that's what that is. I mean that's that's all that and shit. I, and, is. I don't give exactly. A fuck. And I didn't want and I didn't want it to come off like I was calling I'm them saying, out. Come off I'm like saying. I <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, but I'm trying to tell them like, yo, man, why you got that platform? Don't make it look like your success was because you did that, okay? Don't make it look like, yo, you know, you the, the, the slave left, left the plantation and bought Massa a cup of tea. That's how we get Saturdays off. Don't make it look like that, okay? Charge these people like they asked you to be in their platform. Make them come and play, um, perform in your platform in the same way. That's reciprocity. If you so above me, then you don't need me. All right, that has to be stated. Just as as a human being, okay. So so I'm telling these cats, don't look for the next year rock the boat or three years from now trying to make the next Trump song or some other shit that whoever the next uh, candidate is. Mind your fucking business in that world. You would rather be a power to say, look, I, I got together with 20 million motherfucking hip hoppers in goddamn United States, 
and we were so powerful that now we have leverage on who comes into office. We have a certain part of this fucking pie. That's something better to look at rather than being the next step and fetch it to say, yo, let me sing for you and let me dance for you and so on. When these people the, blow the values up. values aren't in the right place, right? That check, I mean, that check come calling, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like check, integrity, check, integrity. And, and sometimes it's like, all right, check. You know what I mean? Because because that's important what you just said, you know? Like, because we should be using these 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 opportunities to, to say, okay, I'm going to see what the fuck you about. You a politician? All right, you, you want to, you fuck with me like that? You want to say, what are you about? Let's do something there. Let's, let's talk on some real shit. Well, I'll sing. Let's talk. Yes. We going out to lunch real quick. You know what I'm saying? And we're going. Yeah, real we're shit. We're going. We're going to see. All right. You know what I mean? You, you the fucking messiah. Then what's good? What the fuck? What's good? good? Make it happen. Make it happen. Make if it you happen. go there and do that, you should come out with something that's going to serve everyone because that's what you're trying to put them in power to do. So instead of waiting for them, let's make it happen off the gate before you even get into power. We should have those buildings up. That's my check. All right? That's my check. That's never the that's never the situation. All right? And these people gear up for that shit every year. I, I, I can't believe how people are gearing themselves up like, yo, when the next thing happens. That's like somebody waiting for the next chance. Are you serious? Whoever went to basketball, I'm going to make a Buck song. I'm going to make a Lakers song. I'm going to make a such and such. They wait for this, This is bro. a real thing. I mean, like, I thought you were exaggerating. This is real shit. This is real shit. This is bullshit. I come across <laughs> real corny shit. And entertainment, bro. It's bullshit to me. It's bullshit to me. That's what. That's why I had to write the post. Otherwise, I mind my business. You want to hold hands with these fuckers and whatever the fuck. But I said I'm tired of seeing such heavy, influential people on their climb up. Mary J, if you was getting ready to do film and do different things, then go ahead and do that. Because now, when you go do that with Hillary, before you get there, somebody says, "Hey, getting with her got her a film deal." and another album, and so on. And that might have been just her effort. So you got to be clear when you do moves like that. You got to be clear to the people like, yo, my relationship is strictly, I like Hillary. I have dinner with her, and she's a cool motherfucker, and so on. And we could say, fine. But she called us out of our names. Okay? Let her respond with an apology. Then we can examine what you're saying. We're not going to override that and say, hey, man, Mary said that's what's up. Mary, you're not a politician. You're a singer. You couldn't tell me the right direction to cast my vote or do any of that kind of shit. You're a fucking singer. There's no way in the world I fuck with you and I bang your shit. But when it comes to politics, I'm not I'm not following you in that fashion unless there's clarity of why the fuck you're here. Tell me why this attracts you outside of fucking money that we're not getting. <laughs> and we're hiring her, the, the lady that you're singing with, to serve the fucking people. That's fucking crazy, bro. I would I would tell people don't fuck with that politics shit in that fashion. And I would tell hip hop to get a neutral ground. You know, you imagine if if the power of Killer Mike and Mary J was connected to the Ice Cube document to say, yo, y'all gonna help us build this petition. And if and if y'all are on a level where you're not only supporting our people, there will be other ethnicities that will fuck with you as well because hip hop is 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 multi-generational. And, and, and multiple ethnicities here that will support what's right. So if you can do what you say, let's go ahead and show examples of that before you get in power. So whatever it is, a bust or not, you still fuck with the people, so you got a little bit of hero badge at the end of the day, and guess what? Our Mary J, our Killer Mikes, our whoever else is, whoever is in those spheres of doing that shit for the political, all of them look better. Because they say every time they stepped in there, a center was built a school was built or fixed up. You could have took the money from that and say, here, Dr. Umar, stop waiting for the money to come through Cash App and all these other fucking people. And just here, Bernie Sanders just gave us the other three million that you need to go ahead and put that up. Right. Take a picture with the homie on Instagram and now, Bernie, you've done a good thing. Now you got Dr. Umar looking like he was a fraud building some fucking school that's needed. The type of education he's talking about is needed, a deprogramming fucking school. So if it's not there, let's get Hillary Clinton. You'll be a fucking hero to build about five of these. One in, one in Los Angeles, one in New York, one in the South, one in the Midwest. Hook it up. Put one in Kansas. And now we got our own academy. Now it's up to us to follow up because we don't need her to come and visit and say, yes, how are you, student? We don't need none of that from you. 
you could be the most evil motherfucker in the world <laughs> after that point. All right, leave the bag with us and go do what you're going to do anyway. You're going to do that shit anyway, regardless of what it is. If we say, oh, Hillary, you're the greatest in the world, you can go off and be the most evil fuck in the world. Just like now, everybody thought homeboy was going to be the savior. You put grandpa in office. None of those devils were supposed to be in that seat. That should have been like, yo, man, cancel all of this shit. Y'all bugging the fuck out. We're going to have a world council to help make decisions and do things. You should have canceled the whole presidency. Bullshit. No way in the fucking world. Now the country's on civil war like this. And then you're going to get somebody to say, come in and do this. Now you got niggas doing vax that ass up. I couldn't believe what the fuck with the vaccination. You're going to tell everybody free, free choice, free mind, but you've already made our decision to say, okay, we're, for, we're pro this. Okay? And we're going to get one of the, the, the southern boys who would say, fuck this, usually, to say, no, I'm not taking... Whatever the fuck, fuck you, nigga. I'm down in the South doing my thing. Exactly. So now you go and make a song and take one of our one of our iconic songs, regardless if it's ignorant or whatever the fuck, it's iconic in our world. And you switch it up for a nigga to be singing that shit to eventually say, man, you know what? Maybe it's not that bad. If the homie's getting one, you talking about he can't even get none without it. The, the whole commercial and video was was so ridiculous on what it was saying, lyrically and everything. And I said, you really want to get into that political type of world? And what did media do? Again, fanning the bullshit. You brought it to me, I'm going to fan it and spread this bullshit on everybody that's curious. Exactly. I'm shoveling manure, baby. I'm shoveling it all. <laughs> Are you feeding it up? Yo, pig, a pig eats its own fucking, you know, wallows and shit. And they love it, right? They love it. They love it. They're happy. They're ecstatic. Yes. There was. Yes. There's hardly any other animals more ecstatic than a pig in this fucking this fucking filth. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's called ignorance, and that's and yes. that's, that's the disturbing part about the whole thing is that again. So I'm, I'm always balance it out, yo. We gotta be fucking accountable for ourselves. Who was? Yes. I, I, I'll post on it and then get fucking banged on. Oh, yo, dude. Uh, no limit on who uh, cash money to actually did something for the culture. Yo, are you not paying attention to what I'm saying? It ain't about no fucking hip hop. Exactly, like, exactly fam. But you know what I'm saying. So it's 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 a you, you can't speak, right? You say, you say something, nobody reads. Nobody reads captions. I've posted fucked up captions deliberately in my post just to prove that nobody reads captions. I'll post some weird yes. ass shit. I'll be like, oh, you know, I'll say some weird ass <laughs> like backwards shit. And I'll be like, and, yes. And, and people are like, oh, that's a dope putting fire, fire, fire. I'm like, yo, you didn't even read the shit. Hey, bro, I couldn't understand it. I said, like, I woke up that morning and I said, you know, let me diss Killer Mike today. L let me diss Mary J. Block. This is the last thing on my mind. I have absolutely no time for that. But I've had several people call me and say, yo, man, what's going on? And they calling me like you in the industry. And I'm saying, I'm not in the industry like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm familiar with what it is, but this is a it's this is a matter of power and understanding. People are asking of our power through our icons and our people, and that should be addressed. So it wasn't even like, musician to musician, let me say something to you. Fuck that. It wasn't about that. I said, how you fucking shake the hand of a person that says fuck your people, spit and spit off her out her window on our head at one time? You call somebody a super predator, you're basically writing a death certificate for a motherfucker, man. That's part of the problem that's happening right now. We shouldn't be every week, every week, every week. And these people got a directive to just say, yo, man, we already know these people are super predators, man. Put them on the ground. They're capable of anything. These motherfuckers got extra strength. They got monkey strength. <laughs> you nigga, you didn't, we three-fifths a man, nigga. You thinking we monkey strength? They can climb, push the car up, nigga. We got to stand. I my shit. Like, Wolverine, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like exactly, son. Yo, you got four motherfuckers standing on George Floyd, man. I don't give a fuck how big, if he was big as Shaq, homeboy, it don't take four trained men yo, when a, to hold down an individual, yo, you bro. Know when a brother get pulled over, it'd be like 12 cruises up in that motherfucking leg. Come on, <laughs> because your shit is super predator, danger. The directive is set from the highest source, the commanders in chief and all those who associate with that and that system. Even the dude that's in power right now said the same shit years ago. Yeah, he goofy. Okay. Yes. Super predator. Yeah. Super predator. That's their language to the to for the natives. Watch these motherfuckers. You never know what they're capable of. 
You let them gather too much, you'll be a planet of the apes in this motherfucker. They got a wild imagination about our power. They're fascinated about our power, my dog. Whatever way that they can do to tame us or chain us or make us do whatever the fuck, yo, bro, they live for that. You know, they live for that, my lord. And that's why I say the media is fanning the wrong side of that situation. They should be fanning the side that says, yo, man, Bernie Sanders just built Umar school and put up several motherfucking situations going on with Killer Mike's finance program. Oh, my God. That's it. That would be a whole different conversation. And now we're saying, well, damn, oh, shit. You know, homie got up in there and got one of the motherfuckers to turn their shit around a little bit. And it's not just like, oh, he, he marshaled Martin Luther King uh, in 1965, he was holding the hands up. Come on, dog. I don't give a fuck about that. A lot that. of people mark Martin Luther King, and they're still fucking assholes. Who cares? Bro, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He gives a fuck about that 2021, goddamn years and years, decades fucking later. We talking about, yo, he did this this one thing. And if there are other things, then present his resume. Killer Mike, tell me what his resume is that you feel that you would want to represent him and everybody from your hood that fucks with you to fuck with him. Break that down to us so we can shut the fuck up, judging the moment, and fuck with you on whatever it is. Right, right, right. That's real, real shit, man. Real shit. <laughs> you, got any, <laughs> you got anything else? Do you you know, just just smoking right now, so I don't... <laughs> left, it's like smoldering embers, like coals, like hot... <laughs> like when you pour some water exactly. on the... On the... <laughs> that shit made me heated, God. What up? That shit made me eat it. I, that shit made me crazy. I'm like, people on my shit talking about, yo, man, fuck you. This is Taylor Mike, man. Fuck you, nigga. But for not whispering in the guards ear, we don't need no big head politicians or fucking, you know, bigger five people. If the guards say something to us, yo, man, let them build. And if it makes sense, then we fuck with it. If it don't, then fuck him too. That's how it is, period. You know, people have their right to have a fucking opinion and choice. But if you're going to have a platform where we now forced to be like, yo, you know, this nigga's on Netflix. This nigga's on this. You know, like, damn, he, he's doing something powerful. Maybe him holding hands with the homie and shit, right. you know, is the way to go. Let me write the next song. Let me write the next Bernie Sanders, uh, Sanders jingle or whatever the fuck may be. No, nigga. Break down to them. That's not what's happening. Break down why you were so rare to fuck with him. And anybody that fucks with a rock the vote or any of that other shit, all the little commercials that be out and they be doing their little shit and doing little concerts and all that other shit, Weigh who you affiliate yourself with, man. All money and good money. If you was a thousand dollar artist and a nigga say, yo, man, I'll give you seven G's, come up here and do whatever, and you fucking with a person that has no intention for who you are or what you need to exist in, you need to refuse that gig as soon as power as possible. Politics are not for every motherfucker, man. And not necessarily for fucking hip hop. There's a lot of power in that. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if Jay-Z went up and said, Yo, man, what's up, Trump? Me and you. We run New York. That would that would be a whole serious shift. There are people that fuck with Jay Z on a real, real level, man. Like grind, stupid. You would cause a serious shift <laughs> as a wealthy man in a serious position, my dog, to make a political decision. Nice. And there are a lot of smaller artists that have that fucking power, dog. More power than they know. So they can't they can't sell it away. That's that was my last point on the media fan of the shit, my lord. Woo. I just wanted to build on those aspects with you, man. Woo. Man, yeah, you man. Smoke I, I, don't, I mean, shit. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's important stuff, though, because the, the, the hip hop and the media, the, the, that that connection there, you know, is not always a good connection. We, you know, we we attach ourselves. Listen, I mean, I, I always say like, you know, just just say it actually in twelve steps, like clean up your own side of the street first. And it's like, yes, I feel like we got to look within, man, and really look at our decisions, look at who we're supporting, look at the decisions we're making. Why are we doing this? Why are we supporting so-and-so, Republican, Democrat, whatever? Why are we, is it just to get a check? And I, I think, yo, for some of us it is, man, and that's, I, we got to accept that. Like, some people, that's that's what that matters to them, and that's what it is. And even though they we think they got a voice, they don't give a fuck if they have a voice. Some people don't care if they have a voice. I mean, Charles Barkley thinks that's right. I am not a role model. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. some people may have a platform. So I'm, I'm trying to respect that some people ain't necessarily trying to build, trying to grow. They don't give a fuck. They want to collect their paper. It's sad, but but that's, yes. you know, it's sad, but that I, I got to own that as far as this, like, that's just, that's part of what it is. 
One thing I wanted to add on before we get out of here is, um, yeah, we really wanted to discuss some. We kind of talked about this a little bit. Yes. The some of the media. So you talked about the kids. You said they're affecting the kids, and I, I thought you were going this way with it. So to me, again, I always tell you, I focus on the music, I focus on the culture, the, the four elements plus knowledge. This yeah. that's my primary shit. I I weed out the rest of the shit. That's kind of how I look at stuff. And so I was yeah. I was thinking about like how there's all these entities out there now. Like if you Google if you Google hip hop right now, if you if you put it in the search bar on Instagram, you're not gonna get some real. You're not gonna get what we grew up with. You're gonna get some fucking funny shit. If you search for it in Google, you're gonna get some funny shit. And there's all these pages, blogs, various entities calling themselves hip hop this underground, and that's yes. And what I'm gonna say, from like a hip hop culture perspective, that's fucked up because little Bryce out in Wyoming, who turns right. on the radio or turns on whatever in '89 when he turned on the radio. Or if he, if he happened to get cable out in Wyoming, he saw fucking Arsenio Hall and he saw Tribe Called Quest doing the scenario. Yes. But in, in 2021, he puts on the music or he puts on the radio or he's going to hear like fucking whatever the fuck. And so yes. That's, and then we have to undo that shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's yes. Like, I, I, yes. Meet, I meet people and they're like, yo, this shit is hip hop. This is the fucking... You know what I mean? Like, this is the realest shit because that's all they've heard because that's what they've gotten. And I feel like yes. I wanted to point out, yo, media-wise, let's remember, media wasn't even covering hip-hop when it first came out. They didn't give a fuck about us because we were still in the streets. We were still stealing electricity. We were still fucking breaking into shit. And it was, it was still fucking gutter. When it took off, oh, you guys can make us some money? Hello, let's, let's poly. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Correct. So that's correct. That's what it is. And they so, advertise. Go ahead, brother. Go no, ahead. I was just gonna say, like the the, the, the money, hip hop. Yes. The media wasn't there in the beginning. You know what I mean? The media will be there as long as we can provide them with fucking money. And we have to. We always talk about saying, how can they fucking? How can we flip it and make have them make us money? But the media is always gonna be there. Like if they can see, it could have been polka music in the beginning that blew up. Yes. It happened to be yes. hip hop. Was on our senior hall and all that shit. It could have been fucking Irish, fucking yeah, it worked. River dance could have been anything. Could have been anything. Exactly. They're gonna latch their exactly. fucking greedy ass hands onto whatever they think can make money. If it's if it's Lil Nas X, if it's Cardi, whatever, saying ratchet shit, they don't give a fuck. And so then it goes yeah, back do. to the pushback. We gotta push back, man. Gotta push back, and we gotta stack up to push back. You know what I'm saying? Because. You know, the, the, our, our power is not expected to be in one place. If it's one force, it's a different situation altogether. I, I'm hoping that people listen to this podcast and really note how they can start that kind of a movement. That's what I'm on right now. I'm on strictly those kind of campaigns, getting those type of things in place. I, that's why I didn't drop any albums or anything like that, because it would, you know, you, you wouldn't get what I really want to offer. You understand what I'm saying? If I announce what I'm doing with the move of, yo, we're going to start voting our um, program directors in. And, you know, with my deal came an hour at a station. I'm syndicated in several places playing conscious music only. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of dope conscious music that people skip over. You know what I'm saying? Damien and Nas. You know, all kind of different things that will happen. I can go back to Black Star. I can go back to PE. I can go to all of the cats that we named on those lists the Cambadas and different things of that level, all of those cats taking your best songs. That's why I tell them, don't curse out your audience in frustration. If you are a person of peace, spit and conscious lyrics, don't give them a window to add you to the rest of the pot because the media would just make you a rapper instead of somebody that's trying to shift and make a change. That's, that's why I say I have no choice but to be consistent in what I do. All right. Because the minute I'm whack, it's like, oh, man, I knew that shit wasn't going to last. I'm going to write like homeboy up the way, man. That nigga sitting lovely. Of course. Millions of dollars talking about bitches and hoes, nigga. You know, fuck it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I have no choice but to be consistent. When you when you hear me 20 years from now in a time capsule somewhere, you'll say, damn, this, this brightened my day, nigga. This made me want to go work out. You know what I'm saying? Love my family, man, and build a house or something. You know what I'm saying? I, 
I, I transmit that kind of music, and I understand that it's an acquired taste. But when the media steps into my world, you have nothing but positive to report. I don't have anything crazy to offer you. I don't have any drama, and I'm not sitting on reality shows trying to fake and get some extra audience. I'm not doing none of that shit, bro. I have no interest in that world, my lord. You know what I'm saying? And fuck if I'm invited or not. I have no interest in that fucking world. It's totally, total buffoonery, my lord. It is. It's it, total. It, it, it totally is. We're going to get on out of here in a, in a minute. A um, couple things. I'm going to be out there next month, man. Labor Day, around Labor Day weekend. So again, I'm just letting you know if you got a chance with me. I, I'll, I'll try to link, man. I love to build in person. You know what I'm saying? Burn one on the ocean. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm run. I'm gonna run down to LA, man, and um, I think we can link, man. You um, know what I'm saying? Let's get this other we'll site, man. Out of this, I'll meet you. See if you can figure something out. I come up five and meet you halfway or something, whatever. Like, nah, man. I, I come. I come back to the to to LA, man. That's 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 that's, that's my second home, man. So okay, it's all I'm good. A, I'm gonna be out with the family, so. But I'll let you know for sure. Um, the, the dates. I'm getting. The I mean, I know the dates, but I'm getting the ticket soon. So, um. What else, y'all? So everybody, this will be up on our YouTube. This is episode eight, Constant Elevation with Brother Jay. We, we got them all up there. They're on podcasting. You know what I'm saying? So we are trying to do what we're talking about, like change the narrative. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and I think I can speak for Brother Jay by saying, you know, we fuck with, like, if you're trying to do the same thing, let's build, let's grow, because it's, there's strength in numbers. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is. There's, yes, it is, my there's, boy. There's really strength in, strength in numbers. Um, what was I going to say? So we do this every month. I got to get on out of here because I got another show at 10 o'clock. One man saved the hip-hop culture. So, yeah, I appreciate, again, your consistency. It, like, just, we just do it. We, we I want to I put out there, um, maybe we can put out for people if they want some topics to, you know, for us to discuss, they can put that out there um, as well, just as far as. How, how can I read the comments when we're done? Uh, how can I read? Comments, you can't do that. You can't. Wow. The only way you could do it is if you were like screen recording the whole show. Like if you just like d use your screen recording. I need to start doing that because I, I don't get to see because the way it's cut off at the bottom. I I try to scroll up while we talking without being rude, but it's like it takes me through all kind of extra shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to give people respect. Yeah. For no, tuning it, in it, to it, what we do. It's hard because because then they they're going up and then you and you can't like. You can't see them, but then they're coming. You see bits and pieces, and then you're trying to like keep your train of thought as well. So, it's a exactly it's a it's a and that's what I'm, I'm reading the script. You know, I'm putting down my my notes, and I'm building with you. And then it's like words is coming up, and I'm like, I want to salute folks, but I I can't see what's going on and yeah. shit. So I mean, I, was, I thought it was a way to go back and read. Nah, you got a screen record, and they always say though, this I mean, this is an extra feature. Again, this is 2021 where people typically, I mean. We just interview, talk, and then we show it later, right? But like now, people are right. all involved, and, and so there's that extra thing. I mean, I, sometimes I want to turn off the comments because it's hard to it's hard to focus actually. Um, yeah. You can turn, yeah, you can turn them off. Happen. But this is yeah, part yeah, of, yeah. This is part of the shit, you know, and this is why I'm I'm learning, my lord. I'm learning, man. <laughs> but I I enjoy this, man, I, and I'm glad since the time you proposed this, man. This has been a a great building, you know. Get back in touch with my folks. Before I knew the music and the hoopla and shit that we have to bring out, man, I, I I wanted to be able to touch my people, man, sincerely and let them know how I really build. You know, you can't, I can't state my whole existence in 16 bars, <laughs> you know, a mm -hmm. song length, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted people to have an opportunity to chop it up, you know, and really see where the mind is at, the mind behind the lyrics, you know, and and what kind of people I associate with, no, you know, an intelligent great. powerful mind. Yeah, this yeah, has been remember. great. I mean, it's like, uh, um, you know, people get to know you. I, I've gotten to know you better over the past nine months. You know, and and, and it's like, you know, we've 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 come to we we have a flow as far as what we do and stuff like that, and it's good. So it's it's only getting better, man. I mean, we only it's 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 good. I like the I'm this gives me life. You know what I mean? I, I've had a rough week, so I, but I'm always yes. every month I'm always looking forward to this, and, and all of a sudden I turn around and, <laughs> and it was actually five weeks in July too, I think. If I'm not mistaken, wow. I'm like, damn, like, I hit you up on Mikel. Yeah. We got something exactly, to do. <laughs> exactly. But we always pull through. Like I said, powerful minds connect, man. We make it happen, man. Yeah. And I, so I, I get salute to everybody. Consistency. And your, your consistency with this, too. You know Yay, family. Because we're both day. super it's my busy. my pleasure, man. So we're going to let you go. Salute everybody for joining in. 
Uh, Brother yeah. Karen, next plan. This was episode eight, Karen. The culture, again, consistency is one of the hallmarks of excellence. Do not forget that. To doing something yes, over indeed. a long period of time, well, that's that's why the greats are the greats. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, you got cats. That's why you call them great. So, again, consistency. So I appreciate yeah. you being here, showing up on time. I don't got to find you. You're where you're up. My, my <laughs> bad, Lord, I was asleep. Fuck out of here. So Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all leave y'all comments on the people who are tuning in. Y'all leave y'all comments on the playback on my brother's channel, man. Carrying the culture, y'all support him and join his page, man. He's doing good things. Man. And salute, I, of course, rock with brother Jay. So, um, we're gonna um, get this up on the YouTube and everything. I'll tag you, of course. And um, yes, thank you, everybody. Appreciate you, fam. That's it. Big up. One hundred.